rough that, we're going to get into uh, Nun's gameplay for this set against Dawson. That's a set. Dawson, uh, very active East Coast, but especially in a lot of these online brackets these days. And trying to like, kind of bounce back from a rough Smash Kong where both these two have to play the same in loser's bracket. So hopefully these two are trying to get some good practice in before Dawson comes to shine next week, too. I don't know if Dawson took a little break, but I didn't see them in brackets for just a cool month or two, but definitely making a comeback recently and just, mm -hmm. you know, if you're I'm sure they've dealt with their own like mental pitfalls of being part of the the Zane losers run, but right here we get a big lead from Dawson taking out the mm -hmm. first stock with the up tilt rest. You know, resident yeah. buff player on commentary. What are you looking for for this matchup usually? Uh, so when it gets like Falcon, it's really just like going to get that hit, kind of be able to chase Falcon a little bit. I know grabs are also kind of big, so you can get like up throw, platform tech chase, or up throw, up bear into something afterwards too. But with Falcon, it's to worry about if you get like hit like this, it can lead to like a big exchange. Because Falcon has this benefit. Unfortunately, none doesn't make it back, but also halftime. Uh, half time. But Fal Falcon is able to just kind of just combo puff in such an efficient way. And we say it all the time. Also good rest. That won't quite kill. Going for that low percent kill, but not quite. Great DI for none to live that. Is that people have been saying it since Wizzy. A lot of Falcon just gotten really good against Puff because you know the, the punch he kind of implemented. But I don't think I need to elaborate too much on that. And I think none's taking no exception to that. That's also beat an H box, you know, remember what happened to Genesis. So definitely no stranger to this matchup. Yeah, I uh Ooh. I'm not sure how much oh, okay. A pretty sloppy game. Mm -hmm. Honestly, both players like Dawson outplayed him, but Dawson didn't really uh, do too much that game. Kind of mm -hmm. just abused the ledges that are battlefield and the edge guard potential yeah. that Puff has on Falcon. So we're gonna it's go like, to game two. If you're none, you kind of just shake that off. Obviously. Yeah, take a breather and hopefully it goes better for the next one. It's like I think the other thing about this match, it's such a volatile matchup for both POVs because like both characters just kind of just mess each other up, like we're seeing right now from none. And Puff can just kind of turn that around with like a grab or like one hit from an aerial and just turn into like a potential rest setup or just like an edge guard. So that's the it's gonna be very explosive. And even though you think that Puff is used to usually, usually like slowing down the match flow, if you've watched like a lot of H box sets, like I said against Zuffy this week at the Salt Mine, um, but sometimes they can just kind of turn it on, you know, have that dog in you, you know what I'm saying? And just like just go crazy. It seems like it's pretty hard for Puff to navigate the neutral and get an opening hit with how fast mm -hmm. Falcon is. But exactly. Like you're saying, there's some decent tools once you get the knockdown. Down throw tech chase. Yep. I know a lot of us like to do that. I've seen Two Saint get like down throw tech chase rest with that, or kind of down throw bait and then go for the rest. And it tells you how much percentage the combo did. Too. That combo thing is so sick. I can't, I can't get over it. I'm sorry. It's pretty hype. Plus, what I also oh, like I said, it has. Well, we look at it, it also has like the uh, character emblem, like what franchise they're from, in like the coin that rotates too. So it's like, such a good attention to detail. I'm a big fan. Shout out to Anime Melee again for making this. Really. Fancy Primal, is that who it is? Thank you. Thank and, it's, it's, it's with, it's with Anime Melee, that's my bad. Check out the painting run. It's the same person, so not, you know, not the biggest deal, but support someone making cool aesthetic and useful things. Like, there's always so many cool, like, aesthetically pleasing things, but something that's actually useful that isn't, like, just an Uncle Punch is, like, a, a lane that's hard to, you know, hard to make stuff. So I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm buying this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just so nice to have. Plus, like, what you're streaming do, it just tells yeah. you. You streamer, you're a small streamer, a big streamer. It's just more stuff for people to watch. Exactly. Plus, it gets more exposure for people who want to check it out too. Like, say, if like Hbox, you like, oh, well, what's this thing about? And he kind of just tells you about it, and everyone else is kind of get on that too. But okay. hey, you, you guys are here for it in, in this chat to see it. Oh yeah. This is the first place I've seen. Look at that. That's same here. Drill counts every hit as a combo. Kind of funny. Kind of cool. Oh, was that a teeter cancel? Not sure. It's really hard for me to see the teeter cancels, especially since I'm just a, a brain dead floaty player trying to point out the Falcon tech. But right here, oh. Okay, and what a turnaround, too, from Dawson. Just going to get back to stage and get that F smash out there. That's just a ledge guard for Dawson, too. So Dawson looking to go up 2 0 on none right now. But that's the thing. There could just be a quick one hit from none that can just go back in Falcon's favor. But I'm only taking 9% so far. And Dawson only taking one hit, so Dawson keeping their only at mid percent doesn't want to get hit too hard here. Almost got the grab, but not quite. It's the scary thing now. Falcon can turn around that quickly, as I was saying. But Dawson can use like one or two reads, and this game could be over. Oh, does not get the knee on the tech chase. 
Johnson taking a lot of percent though. But as they say, he just needs one move or an edge guard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Either either one of you just use that one big hit and give you a swing in their favor. Oh, but Nut oh, almost got the upper, but Dawson just getting away from there uh, with the jump. Puffin escapes so many combos. Mitra not to DIA in the back here. <laughs> if you're Nut, you've been in this spot before against people like HBox, so you just gotta be well conditioned and patient here. You don't wanna overextend too much. But Dawson, it's a matter of getting down, just trying to find some breathing room to get some pressure on Nut, but not be able to find that in this last stock. This is one of those just tense moments. Quits out as the back air hits. Gotta get into the next one, ASAP for mm -hmm. Dawson. One yeah, one. So none really turned that one around after a very quick, but also just a bit of a rough game one. So it's starting to come together and put the, put the gears in motion a little bit. And now even to back up, now we're kind of in a spot where it's more so 1-1. One, one, kind of more so feeling like a best of three a little bit. So let's see what they kind of have going on. If you're a Nun fan, you're seeing the gentleman's being hit. We're not really seeing too much tech flubs from last game. It did start out pretty rocky. Yeah, and here Nuts have a lot more space, kind of run around. Plus, he has, he has a top platform now too. But also for uh, Puff, it's also like you know you have a lot of space as well. I think this is kind of like more of a. I think sometimes playing on, the, playing on the Falcon and Puff can be kind of more of a neutral stage to kind of see it. But that's a great. Uh, uh, Jet reset rest from Dawson, but then none's gonna come back and punish to reset it back to three stocks each. But as I was saying, you know, both characters kind of make really good use of the stage. Falcon loves having space, we don't use platforms as much, but this is also kind of like a puff staple. A lot of puffs love going here for obvious reasons too. You get more survivability and all that jazz. But like for these two, he just gives them a picture percent to live by. Yeah, I think uh, an important thing to point out is that. Dawson's getting some rest, but they're at a percentage where he's had to sacrifice his own stock when he gets mm. Yeah, so I think just about just, every... I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. just gets the advantage, but not the lead, you know, after getting the cool combo. Mm -hmm. You know, clutching out the moment, so... Yeah, I feel like, like each... I'd like to see a hit before we do that. Sorry, I keep like, just yeah. trailing you off. It's fine. I'm about to say, after like each like rest is kind of just reset back to like a, either a 2-2 two, two or a 3-3 three, three stock count. We haven't really seen Dawson. I feel like right now potentially he would, he would even die if he got a rest right now, depending on where he was in the stage. And if you can get those like lower percent rests, which I think we kind of saw in game one, but that was obviously a very fast game. It can give him like more of like a mental slash tactical advantage too in stocks. Completely agree. Right now Dawson running away with it though. Almost got another F smash that turned out there with the big old stomp beats that up. Mm -hmm. er, it's a hack stash. So kinda looked away for a second. Got out of the corner though regardless. Uh, does not hit the edge cancel on the stomp. And Dawson stuffs it with the back air. Mm -hmm. Dawson is not Canadian. He is Tri-State. Uh, Tri-State. Yeah. yeah, he's based in Pennsylvania. Dawson is uh, definitely Jigglypuff. Yeah, Dawson's playing Puff. <laughs> and then, yeah, none, none is the Canadian being from Ontario, but also representing Nicaragua. So, but, uh, got a couple mixes in there. But I know he sure. resides in Toronto, or in Ontario. That just reminds me of, like, like there's like a, there's like a Sheik ditto on screen. Like, which one is X play? It should be like, the Sheik. <laughs> got him! This is, this is the Sheik. This is, this is, oh my, both, they're both J Sheiks too. Uh, which ones? Which one's J Megan? Oh, he's the Sheik. But which one's J Salt? The Sheik. It's like, ah, oh, I gotta figure it out now. Yeah. Roll another down. yeah. There's a down throw again from Dawson. Hold up. Nah, it doesn't land on the platform there. I feel like on a stage like Stadium or Bath, but they would have landed on flat. Would have let you. Potential rest there for Dawson, but no, none. We saw us in the stadium game. Dawson had a slight lead, but none came all the way back. Was able to rally. Can none do it once more before it's too late? None living for a really long time, though. All the twinkle toes. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> the four beautiful. Hit combo. The four so hit, good. the four hit, soft hit, fair. But like yeah. that downer place was so good. If Dawson doesn't do that, none just grabs ledge and probably does like. Uh, ledge hop back here or something like that, or like hack stash just does an aerial after that, too. So that's mm -hmm. great from Dawson to clutch that the last second, able to close that out. And Dawson up 2 1. Dawson in the driver's seat here. Got mm -hmm. the counter pick. Made it, you know, made it work out. Used the survivability. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to battlefield. Yeah. 
We were here game one, and that was pretty much like a night and day situation. So Nun was obviously trying to get warmed up a little bit, and we actually said both players didn't feel like they were in it that well. But now Nun's a lot more warmed up. He was a lot more confident, and you can try and get these kills on Dawson. Of course, you'll probably have a better platform layout. I feel like a lot of Falcons also like this layout here, but also Dreamlight's really good for that too. And you can get these kills on Puff a lot sooner as well. So it's really on none to get these punishes and kind of capitalize them. But if you're Dawson, you don't want to get too flustered. I think if you're Dawson, you'd be like, that knee was whack. That was like a reverse shield poke knee. Mm -hmm. From like, That's... from the top ropes too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hit, hit him, hit him with like, I want to say, yeah, kind of like the, what's the word I'm looking at? Yeah, kind of like a diving knee, basically. I'm trying to think of like a comparison to make it switch to the diving knee strike. The fair, the reverse fair back air. Shades of H box coming out. Mm -hmm. Looking like, yeah, plus rock on the color too of H God. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there's a gentleman. gentleman. Yeah, he's been on point with the gentleman. It's good to see if you're a non fan. Yeah. It's just important tech skill to hit. Make sure you get the pivot out of the gentleman, too. Almost got the up air on Platt to kind of extend that tech chase. But doesn't quite get it, and good guy from Dawson to live that, but you got to get back again. I know Nun's usually pretty good about uh, covering the covering the space above him when Puff's coming back. For sure, so staying above Falcon a lot of the time. It's hard to do that when you are at higher percent because you just kind of get the up air, as we mm -hmm. saw there. Not yes. usually a kill move, more of a damage racker into the, the knee. Yep. Yeah, usually you see Falcons do like down throw, and then it leads to like some kind of aerial, then into knee. But like in like most play matchups, like this one, and I'm sure you know it's Peach. Like once you're at pretty like mid to higher percent, Falcons will usually opt through the up air to kind of just like kind of hammer home that kill. And we've seen it like a plenty of times throughout plenty of sets. Like you know, none versus H box, none you know, none versus Dawson. Right now, I've seen it come into play. Um, Wizzy versus H box, uh, SDJ versus H box. You can kind of just think of situations where it just comes in so useful. And also calling out the no tech there, he just gets the extra backer. Not quite gonna kill though, but he's getting a rack of percent and looking pretty good for him. These games have kind of been kind of slogs compared to the first couple rounds. Someone's got a stock lead and been able to hang on to it really well. Mm -hmm. Well, missing the back air. Nice using the drill to kind of reset the situation, give him time to set up for the fair. Mm -hmm. Back air is going to wrap that one up, though, for Nun as he has another stock. Once gets, once brings to a game five, but again, has has leader. Usually it's been a story where Dawson has, a, has the lead 2 1 and tries to, and Nun has to fight back. But here, it's, uh, tables are turned. So Dawson going to gonna have to fight an uphill battle if they want to take them, if they want to uh, clinch the set. Yeah, or we're going to see a game five situation. Oh, yep. Ask you shall receive, Jake. Ask you <laughs> shall receive. The second, oh, it's going to happen. You see, yeah. don't just go off a raw knee and call out Puff. There we go. Caught him slipping. We got a game five situation. Falcon Puff, where are we going? FD oh, game five. Okay. Not too common. Yeah, this is this is such a situational one. I feel like because I think it, I think it's dependent on who you're playing. I feel like someone like Nun is definitely someone who loves having blasts kind of see throughout the entire set. So for Dawson, oh wait, that could be a rest. There Setting up for it. That was just, a I'm gonna get smash to back up some more. Yeah, does quite not able to cap that one off, but such a good start for Dawson. Doesn't quite convert it to a kill though, and now none has Dawson in a tough spot. I really wanted him to kill off that combo, that have been cool. But uh Dawson's still with a big lead here. Out of the gate, you know how important it is to get that first stock lead. Okay, up there, up there. Let's see if we get back to ledge. Here's the gentleman once more from none. Been on point with those. We have thoughts at such high percent right you want to convert into a kill. But Dawson, you know, playing better defense, obviously it's hard for Falcon now with no plats. It kind of limits some of your mobility options too, especially when you're coming down and also you're trying to get Puff from above. Because Puff can just kind of go higher up and you can't really threat considering Falcon's uh, jump height. Yeah, for sure. I think um, it's so hard for Puff to really navigate the threat zones. That's why you always see Puffs always hang out around it. But then as a counterplay, you see like the Wizzy up there is just string together a lot when Puffs do take to the air a lot. But right now we're seeing Dawson go to the ground. Mm -hmm. I think it's because it's FD. You don't see it. Here we go. Stop yeah, being taken for a ride. 
Yeah, being more grounded, I mean, you won't be able to get open up from up air that much, but if they go for an up air, you probably just crouch cancel it at lower percents. Uh, but here, it's, yeah, you see none opting for Nair on to kind of get that poke, because you're coming down with Nair. You can try and poke and puff when they're on the ground, so it kind of pokes them away. Even if they only take a little bit of percent, you can kind of just like, all right, I need to hit you somehow to get the percent up, and now you got Dawson at a pretty high percent. But the no tech call out from Dawson, hold up. Waits for waits for them to come down. Enter situation. Another one. Falcon gonna be alive. He is a big boy. Oh, the reverse. Oh. Hey, yeah, you hate seeing that. But it's still going for Dawson. Gets the down throw. Still has none cornered. You have such a high, such a high percent too. You just need like like a one, another one or two good hits, and that's a Falcon stock. Yeah, it's super even right now. Being a lot lighter than the Falcon. There's a percentage discrepancy, but really not too big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Gets the kill Finally, up there off the top on Falcon, though. Finally taking that stock, but Nugget even it right back up again. That's another half. That's number four on the day for yeah, halftime. Half oh. Up throw. Another one? Another one, one yeah. <laughs> Let's say, Rack reckon that mid percent. You can probably get a Falcon kill if you get a rest right now, but Doss is going to find that opening for himself. But yeah, none yeah. in the quick quick racket percent right there. Now it's a situation where Dawson gets the rest, but that's also probably a dead puff unless it kills off the top. For sure. Okay, okay. Getting like a backflip over puff into the knee. Watch up there. Also needs to stay composed. You gotta breathe. It's such. It's such. Uh, there's a lot on the line. Dawson has to come down. Yeah, just trying to find a way in. They're whole trying to penetrate their space, but it's just like who can I kind of get the opening of that too? Because like one good hit will probably send Puff to the to the blast zone. Whereas Falcon, if you get like any good two hits on you, you're probably gonna get comboed by Puff. But Nug able to find that now. Dawson a lower percent, kind of be a little bit more aggressive until you take too much from Falcon. Yeah, if you're Dawson, you don't want to come so close to get the bracket upset. But here we go. Mm -hmm. And you know, this fall is, short, but here and this we go. this is Dawson's chance. This is this is this, this is it. Uh, this is his chance. Can he get that conversion he's looking for? But none. Oh wait, quick twenty-five. Oh, there's the grab. Can you get the rest? There it there is. We go. And Dawson finally, after quite like, okay, can he find that opening? We thought he would do at the start of the game. Opted for up smash, but finally at the end finds that one string that can just turn the game on its head. And Dawson gonna take the set game five over none. That's a big one. And like I said, Dawson, you're trying to make better on what happened at SmashCon. You know. Running into Zane was obviously rough, but so did none. But looking really good right now.